Do you want to see any of the photos here? <laughs> On a cool fall night in Fox Point, that's my little brother, Kevin and Sarah Packman tell their three kids about the day they were married. 1990s wedding. <laughs> it was a fast courtship, engaged just four months after the night they met. Well, when you see something that works, you know it works. I mean, it just clicked and things took off. It just like fit. I guess we were both at the right place in our lives at the right time. Ooh, that looks good. Can you taste it? it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. In Wauwatosa, Dan Beezer and Sarah Zerbel prepare for a busy day at Dan's business to ball chocolate. Cut down the fat content. To tell you the truth, they weren't overly sweet on each other after their first date. I had a motto that I would always go on one date. Give him one try. I would give him one chance. It was a chance Dan almost blew. Well, it was so marginal. It certainly didn't help his cause that he talked throughout the entire movie he took Sarah to. I was just sitting there and I'm like, just be quiet. Stop talking. He'd be like, hey, did you see that? Did you just look, look? And he'd like talk. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. I can't remember why I decided it was okay for number two. But there was a second date and a third and many, many more until there was a wedding and eventually a son. We were in different circles. Right. Totally different circles and I don't know, because we hadn't met, we'd lived in, I had lived in Milwaukee 20 years, you'd been here mm -hmm. 10, 15 What's years. It's cold up here. Huh? It's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if Charlie and Sue Grimm seem like newlyweds, it's because they are married in December of 2016 but it's another romance that almost wasn't. He asked me out and I said no. <laughs> and then she said no again. Charlie only gives two strikes. Why don't you ask her out? I said, well, I did twice and she was busy. And he goes, ask her out again. I said, nope. Nope. A week after that, Sue asked Charlie out. We met at Moe's Irish Pub and sat and talked for five hours, which seemed like maybe two. I thought if I can sit and talk to somebody where we can visit, learn about each other and not even look at our clocks or at a clock or at our phones and stuff in this day and age. It's like, well, I mean something, so. None of these couples know each other, but they are all very much in love. Perfect matches. And they all have one person to thank. Heather. 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 <laughs> Here's the common link. This is the common link. I'm inappropriate. I meddle in people's lives, but it like brings a lot of success. Yeah. She's right on all three counts. Oh, hey. Heather Poland birkin is the least shy person you could ever hope to meet. There are actually a couple docs here that are single. The new tall guy. Maybe inappropriate is unfair, but forward isn't. As for meddling... She's not here today. Yeah, she's a gold medal meddler. Is Jarbo single? Not sure. Okay. She I just met this morning, so... Oh, we okay. We haven't gotten that far okay. in our conversation yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't worry, Doc. Heather will get to it. <laughs> it is kind of this sickness that I have that when I meet people, if I find out that they're single, you know, then just like the mind starts running and I'm thinking like, hmm, who do I know for them? And the success part, well, her record speaks for itself. The Columbia St. Mary's nurse. When were you diagnosed as a diabetic? Clearly loves people. I'll make an appointment for you on the database. What she seems to have a problem with are unattached people. There's a lid for every pot. And I, I like people. I mean, if I meet someone and they're kind, mm -hmm. and then I find out that they're single, you're like, you're awesome. Like, you should be with someone. Match.com, uh, eHarmony, yeah. Tinder, they must all hate you. I think we can work in harmony together. Mm -hmm. I think those apps are great options for people that it works out with for. But what I find is people will find someone on Match, and then they spend, like, months going back and forth on emails. Yeah, dig yes. in. She used to do the solo Cupid thing, and then she met her perfect match. No, they were not set up. Her husband Aaron is a Milwaukee police lieutenant. They met in the emergency room. Oh, here. Some of their matches involve his co-workers meeting hers. I do like the fact that she's good at it. It scares me sometimes, though, because we both still have to work with the people. So if it doesn't work out, I still have to see them every day. Yeah. <laughs> and then sometimes I get the question, hey, why isn't so-and-so called me? Yeah. But when it works, it's life-changing. Remember Charlie and Sue? Charlie was a cop and not always a cheerful one to be around. Until Heather did her thing, with an assist from Aaron, of course. You should have seen the transformation of him at work. He's a sergeant and his cops were coming up to me, thank you. This is a new man. 
There have been a lot of new men. Kevin Hoffman and Elizabeth Sotis. And women. Jimmy Hensley and Carol, very happily married. Because of Heather. Mike and Robin Keough, nursing school friend and Bell Ambulance Dispatcher, married uh, with a blended family. And her marital meddling. Dan Beezer and Sarah Zerbel. Six marriages, five long-term couples, six kids all exist because Heather played a hunch. It's more of just an instinct that I always do. And then once more and more people started getting married, I thought, this is really cool. Like there's an old Jewish wise tale. If you fix up three people that end up married, you're secured a place in heaven. You know, so then I always joke, I've got extras, you know, right. to give out. Heaven can wait. This nurse isn't done ridding the world of singles. So if you're looking, she'll get to you. If I meet someone else and I'm like, they would really but like they this just person. Said they didn't want to be hooked up. But then I, I will offer it to them. Like, hey, let me tell you, I have this really great friend. He's adorable. He works for Fox 6 News. And, Stop using okay, me as an example. <laughs> I don't need your services. <laughs> Those who did are eternally grateful. Well, Dan and I are an amazing team together. And to go through life with a teammate and a helpmate is, is, is really astounding. And I think you get a sixth sense about people and probably, I don't know, maybe in my qualities and what Erin spoke of Charlie, mm -hmm. she probably thought, well, hey, put these two together and see what happens. You have that kind of talent or that skill. She's never shy to say like, hey, you know what? I know someone that I think you should go out on a date with or whatever, you know? And, she, and that takes some chutzpah to be does, able to do that. Right. I think she likes to see the joy in other people and that brings her joy. So, you know, when you, when you enjoy doing something, uh, generally you're pretty good at it, I think. And this is, this is her, definitely her thing. You're proud of your record, aren't you? I am. I think I have a lot to be proud of. <laughs> Ted Perry, Fox 6 News.